Hey love, you got your heart on your sleeve, but the shirt on your back's a bit small. Hey you, yeah your colors are changing, the world ain't half bad after all. Na na na. Anyway, the rest of our travels since we left the uh, Granite Skywalk, incredible. That Skywalk was amazing. It was just so sad that um, we cut it a bit short to go and find a couple of little lost craft. Um, Got to do. That was a buzz. The exhilaration getting there and it wasn't all that hard. Um, Jude found a couple little steps a little difficult, but with the coaxing from the right person, they can do it and she shot up that ladder like nobody's business absolutely so proud of her she did well anyway so we got back and um we had to drive back down past the spot we had camped up for for that night and, um, hey we, we've got to be in adelaide by the 26th and today i think is the 12th so i'm starting to think you know esperance norseman the um nullarbor crossing I need to start making a bit of ground. So each time I said to Jude, I wouldn't like to stop there, but we're gonna keep going. We wouldn't like to stop there, keep going. I would have possibly stopped at Raylan Thorpe. There was a, a nice RV park there that was free. We took the gamble and went to Hopeton, hoping that we could get to the 48 hour park here. But uh, we got there and it's popular as hell. It is absolutely jam packed. Anyway, we got the better deal. We're at Hopeton Caravan Park. They took us in, gave us an absolute brilliant drive-through site. Thank you very much. We're hooked up. We've got water, we've got power, we've got Starlink going. And this is the um, communal kitchen. And it just reminds you of the old days when you used to go down to a beach camping spot. So it's nothing flash. It's, it's the toilets are still a little bit ancient, the water's a little bit unpredictable, the power fittings trying to get in and wriggle them about, but hey, this is the way it used to be. And it is, if you want that, this is the place to be, location. The pub's only just a walk down the road, the beach is just over the dune. This is a great place. We got it. <laughs> so we got one night here, and then from here we're gonna go, um, probably we're gonna slog all the way to Esperance. So, we did a huge drive. I, I don't know, I haven't even added up the Ks. I think we might be 400 Ks at least today. But um, it's given us probably another two and a half days reserved so that we can take our time across the Nullarbor, which is what we want to do. And when we get to Port Augusta, um, we will then probably hike it straight through to Adelaide, get what we have to do from there. And then we, when we come back to Adelaide, after our little you know what no you don't know that one ha ah, <laughs> we'll fill in on that soon um but when we come back from um come back to adelaide we'll probably do a little bit around that border augusta um up to our next adventure oh how is this for dedication of journalism it is blowing out there and jude took the windy side i took the nice calm side but it is pretty out there. What a gorgeous little spot. Oh man. Beautiful sheltered little spot. She's pretty wild. Jude will probably stick some footage on the other side, but look at these people out here enjoying this Sunday late afternoon down here at Hopen. It's nice. That beach is gorgeous. Great little play area. Nicely sheltered with the little groin that they've got to put in down here. And uh, I guess there's a little boat ramp down in that far corner there where you can pop out and go and do a bit of cray fishing or something. But yeah, great little facilities down here, it's nice. It's very good. We're going, we, we left the caravan park so we intend on um, stopping and spending a penny down at the old pub. So uh, this is where we're going to pop in for a drink and see what's on the menu. The Port Hotel was it established in 1901. I wonder why they got 
1901 and then 1907. We'll find that out. But man, must have been a rugged, bloody place for a, a port. But uh, what a what a grand hotel. Let's go and check it out. Alrighty, we are in, enjoying a pint at uh, Hopeton Bar. Don't know whether we'll get a snack in because the old kitchen doesn't open till six, and we've got two hours to wait. <laughs> I don't know what my chances of being sober by the time dinner comes along. Anyway. We've been directed to the Board of History, which really just consists of a shark that was caught back in 1949. The shark was um, 1.8 meter, nearly two meters long. It was in fact by the, 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 the boat that went out to go and check their, uh, their nets, found the shark. And it was um, a couple of feet longer than the boat. They uh, went out. It had drowned in the net that they had set, so um, they couldn't get on board the boat, so they had no option but to tow it back to land. And that took them an extra two hours than normal, so obviously the uh, people who hoped them were um, rather concerned. So they, um, when the boat started coming in, they all rushed down to see the old shark, which they dragged up onto, onto the shore here. and. Um, they had no way of weighing it, uh, so they cut it up in pieces. The head alone weighed 136 kgs. That's one big shark. So if we look above my head, there is a wee sample of, I'm not too sure whether it's one of the original or both of the sharks, but obviously, yeah, going swimming tomorrow, I think it's off the cards. Got a nice pub, come and have a drink. Oh, 1901 was when the place was built, and I think 1907 was when it, it was registered. Oh well, we're walking back after a good taste of the old amber liquid. Well, from me, chewed out of cider. Yeah. So it'll do us. We'll rest our weary head. Um, <laughs> we're thinking we'll either leave here tomorrow maybe check out the rv site before we left see where we got a package but yeah okay jude said it nah we might uh either well we'll head towards esperance yep and uh we'll look at the good old-fashioned gravel pit and uh see if we can find a spot there where we can get some good reception and park up our batteries are going to be nice and charged our water tanks are going to be full our other tanks going to be empty <laughs> and if we're early enough to Esperance, I might get an extra day if I'm lucky. Oh, Esperance. You're talking about Esperance now. I was talking before Esperance. <laughs> we're <really> confused. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, spot you later. Good morning. Good morning. We have left our little parking area um, that was uh, just outside of Esperance. Fantastic night. Oh, it was so nice out there. Trucks got a little bit up and early uh, this morning and uh, yeah, um, woke us up, but that was about uh, half past five, quarter to six, and we wanted an early start to try and get a wonderful sunrise, a beautiful blue sky day, heaps of sun no wind well we partially failed on that got a little bit of wind a little bit of cloud a little bit of sun and yeah well we missed the sunrise that was a big failure but um yeah here we are at one of the beaches around esperance
Well, we're in the thick of Esperance, right into the town centre. Great little town. Man, it's busy. There's people everywhere. Hey, one thing I forgot all about, and I hope to find a little bit more out as we're crossing over towards the Nullarbor, is Skylab. How amazing is that? So there it is, Skylab. Skylab was America's first space station and the world's first big space station. Launching from NASA, Kennedy Space Center in Florida, USA on the 14th of May 1973 by a Saturn V rocket. It was sent as one piece rather than a separate model to assemble in space. It completed 34, nearly 35,000 orbits of Earth before it came crashing to Earth over Esperance in the early hours of Thursday the 12th of July 1979. Wow, just walking down here along the uh, waterfront. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. Man, they, they've spent good in the town here to make it really beautiful. Check out that beautiful whale tail in behind me. I think Jude's got some photos there, but it's really awesome. A very nice foreshore walk. Um, swimming area back here is just wicked. Check out, they actually have lanes so people can come down and go practice swimming in the lanes and then uh, obviously down here in Esperance it's one of the, the large ports here for carting off the grain so obviously there's a, there's a few ships out here waiting in the bay there for uh, their loads one they're getting loaded I think there's two out there waiting so yeah pretty pretty uh, little township smell of the salt air all right wanted one new jetty. In the 1930s, farmers in the region were growing crops, and thanks to improved method of grain production, it boomed. Shipping was the best way of getting their grain to the markets, but the James Street jetty, built in 1895, couldn't accommodate modern ships. A new jetty was needed. Construction on the tanker jetty, known as Esperance Deepwater Wharf, or New Jetty, was completed in 1935. When finished, it reached 875 meters into the ocean and descended to a depth of more than 10 meters. So uh, I've gone and spent uh, some 7.5 million dollars bringing this jetty back to Esperance, which is a, a lovely feat. So um, it's been nice to actually come back to Esperance and experience the jetty that has now been created for the Esperance people. It's uh, very well uh, patronised, fishermen, walkers, and uh, gives you a, a fantastic view of uh, the bay and looking back into the township of these things. So yeah, a few years back we uh, stayed up over in the caravan park over there and was walking into town and uh, this was in a bad state. I think you can see behind me the, the old timbers, the preserve, which is nice. Back on the, on the new modern stuff here. But they've created uh, awesome little fishing platforms, cleaning desks. Um, it's really pretty. It's nice. It's being well used. And you can see from here or when I get further out to the jetty there, what a great view you have of the town. Look at this. That's a First one of the day? Um, second. second. We got a leather jacket before. Beauty. On fire. And the grass. And the little tent. Alright, little fella, stop. I'll let you back in the water. <laughs> How cool is this? I've never seen a, um, it's got a beautiful little fishing jetty underneath the jetty. Really looking after the fishermen here. Perspective. Swing around and show you these guys getting the fish out. Ah, what a spot! Awesome. And to have a little platform that you can you can go down these stairs onto a platform underneath the jetty here. And uh, great, as as the woman said. Uh, be awesome on a stinking hot day to be under there in the shade, fishing away, nice little breeze coming underneath. Good. And 
It'll bite uh, One thing I've noticed around here, I don't know whether you can see it, but coming up behind me, or oh, no, you probably won't. Oh, you see these black spots? Lots of black spots about. So obviously, uh, the squid can be good um, at certain times. There's a couple, couple down here trying, but uh, see one or two little pinky spots on the on the nice clean concrete. <laughs> Walking up to one of the old school wind generators. I'm sure they are a lot bigger than this now. This is a baby. Let's go and check out some of the facts of it, eh? So, Esperan Salmon Beach Wind Farm, Australia's first wind farm. The Salmon Beach Wind Farm was built in Esperance in 1987. This 60 kilowatt wind turbine was one of two donated to the Esperance community from Salmon Beach, the wind farm, when it was decommissioned after operating for 15 years. Uh, the other wind turbine remains on the old wind farm site. There you have it. This little baby, 60 kilowatts. And as I say, the, the biggest one there, 600 kilowatts. Man, they've really uh, gone up in uh, technology, haven't they? just about pooped out and I've only just scraped the surface of Esperance. Been here before and done a lot of it so uh, yeah 
yeah, we're just going to tick a few little boxes. I'm keen to go and have something to eat right now. And uh, I think we'll just keep heading. We'll go inland now. We'll go. We'll head into a couple of little spots. There's either the, the grass patch, I think it is, or salmon gums. We'll go out and see what that looks like on the way out of Esperance towards Norseman. Just break up the trip. We've done two really big days, so I just need to let's just start doing it in smaller days. So I hope I've given you enough information here on Esperance. If you get the chance, come visit. Please note, in the busy season like it is right now, it is very busy, but they do amazing things to try and cater for us travellers, campers, visitors, so top effort out to you Esperance, it's nice, but here for everybody. <laughs>